Let us now take another model from partnership where three partners are involved in the business. The question here is Sarita started a business investing rupees 50,000. After six months, Abhishek joined her with rupees 75,000. After another six months, Nisha also joined them with rupees 1.25 lakh. So, what should be the ratio in which the profits are shared by the three persons respectively at the end of two years? So, the total time period here is two years. Now, as we can see in this question, we have got three persons, Sarita, Abhishek and Nisha and their investments are 50,000, 75,000 and 1.25 lakhs respectively. And we are supposed to find out the ratio in which they share the profits among themselves. As discussed earlier, the profits of Sarita is to Abhishek is to Nisha will be in the ratio of the products of their investment and time of investment. Now from the given question, Sarita started the business with 50,000. So we can say that investment made by Sarita is 50,000 and she was there in the business for the total period. That is nothing but two years. So we can say that Sarita was present for 24 months. This is two. The investment made by Abhishek is 75,000. So 75,000 is the investment and Abhishek joined Sarita after six months. That is from the total period of two years, Abhishek was not present for the first six months, which means he was present only for 18 months. So his investment was there for 18 months is to the third person here is Nisha. We very well know that Nisha joined with rupees 1.25 lakh. That is nothing but 1 lakh 25,000. But she had joined after another six months. Understand the word another plays a very important role here. We know that already Abhishek had joined six months late and then after Abhishek joins the business, Nisha joined after another six months. So very clearly Nisha was not present for the first 12 months in the business as Abhishek had already joined six months late and then after six months again Nisha joined. So the total period here is six plus six where Nisha was not available. That means she was available only for the last 12 months as the total period is two years. So we can say that Nisha was present only for the last 12 months and this will give us the ratio in which they should share the profits. So by simplifying this, we can say that this is 25,000 into 2, 25,000 into 3 and 25,000 into 5 and this is 6 into 2, 6 into 3 and 6 into 4. So the ratio should be 2 into 4, 8 is to 3 into 3, 9 is to 5 into 2. So we can say that the ratio in which the three persons Sarita, Abhishek and Nisha should share the profits should be 8 is to 9 is to 10. The only important point which you need to understand here is whenever the word another is mentioned in the question we need to take the overall time gap that is the gap which was maintained by the first person plus the gap which was maintained by the third person.